It's a terrific start and uh, Douglas High School Old Boys probably a result that they'll want to forget because, um, yes, they're a little bit depleted uh, in quality from uh, the team that they had last year, but uh, certainly against Laxey it didn't run for them. Uh, but as where uh, St Mary's playing against a team that Paul Rose, who were just glad to get 11 players on the park because uh, they've had a tough old time and unfortunately this week uh, they've withdrawn the combination side from the competition but go with the first team. Uh, there should be one or two uh, players back for them but, um, you know, St Mary's um, against Old Boys at the ball. It's a big, big pitch. I know uh, Old Boys have lost uh, another uh, player this week in uh, Sean Gavin so uh, it's not making Liam Buckley's uh, sort of team choice very easy for them but I expect uh, St Mary's to... Uh, have a convincing win in this one and uh, keep the pressure on the rest of the teams around them. Well, as you say, it was a, a difficult start for Paul Rose and, and difficult this week for them as well, but they're in action against St George's. Yeah, and that's not going to be easy neither because I think uh, when Paul Rose saw the fixtures come out, they looked at them and thought, uh, my word, you couldn't have asked for two uh, bigger fixtures or bigger teams to, to play against. And uh, St George's had a terrific result um, last Saturday against Corinthians, another team that's fancied uh, to push towards the top of the table. But uh, St George's got it together. Young side, uh, we're going to learn a lot about this St George's side over the next uh, sort of uh, three or four weeks, I think, just to see where they're going to go in this uh, league. Uh, but certainly uh, last week uh, held their nerves of steel. You know, penalties uh, to deal with as well. Glenn Walker saved that one as well with uh, Paul Rose. I think there's one or two back. I think Steve uh, Priestnell's sort of injury problems that he've had will be better for him. So he should uh, start. And uh, I think uh, St George's will pick up another three points. Well, another side that made a winning start last week was Laxey. They host Ramsey. Yeah, I'm hoping to cover this uh, game tomorrow because uh, I think it's going to be the closest one when you look at uh, the others. There's a bit of a distance between them. But, um, you know, Laxey, Johnny Palmer knows that uh, he's got a, a lot of good talent at the moment. And uh, once they all start returning back to university over the next uh, couple of weeks, that'll uh, take some quality out. Joe Walter, Stan Manning uh, in there doing really well. But... Uh, they brought uh, Sean Gavin back in, which will, will help things as well with Ramsey. A lot of good reports uh, from one or two Peel uh, players last week. And, um, you know, when they look at the score, they did really well. So uh, hopefully against Laxey they can get something. But I still think it points to a home win, and that's Laxey. And the last one in the Canada Life Premier League is Peel against Moran. And uh, certainly with uh, Peel, uh, the result that they had last week, and Moran, the size of defeat against uh, Russian because... I didn't think that, um, you know, Moran would be that uh, far away from uh, Russia. I thought they'd get beat, but not by the size of uh, scoreline that they did, as were with Peel. We know the main threats, and uh, it was evident last week uh, when you see Lee Gale with a couple, uh, Reese Oates with a hat-trick. You'd expect uh, Peel in front of their home crowd to have a uh, good win. I'm going to go for Peel. Well, in JCK Division 2, St John's, they'll be taking on Jim's. Yeah, and they play uh, tonight, 7 o'clock kickoff, and uh, there's quite a few of these fixtures, uh, Sean, that are going to come right the way through the uh, the season. And uh, even though it's not quite uh, dark enough, they'll be certainly playing the uh, second half under floodlights. And I think it's a great opportunity uh, for Division 2 sides to uh, play these sort of games and hopefully in front of a good crowd as well. But St John's, Last week, super win against Union Mills, one of the sides expected to finish first or second, as well with Jim's just lost out Natalie against uh, Malou. So tonight I'm going to go for St John's to win. Well, uh, they'll be coming in off the back of a, a close match last week. Uh, they take on Douglas and District. Yeah, they had a good game uh, against Ramsey Youth Centre, but uh, Ramsey Youth Centre are very strong. I believe Air have got one or two players uh, back in. Uh, Douglas and District... Um, I thought that was a good result, 1-1 against uh, Michael. They led uh, right the way up until towards the end, I think it was, and then Michael got the uh, equaliser. No sort of uh, team news from either, but I think um, the way everyone's tipping Air to win uh, or possibly get promotion this year, I uh, have to go for Air to take the result. Well, Ramsey Youth Centre, they go to Braddon. Well, Braddon last week uh, against Foxdale. Braddon, new team, if you remember, uh, last year really uh, struggled to, to get players out for the combination and uh, didn't have a first team, uh, but they've managed to get two teams together. As I say, good performance against uh, uh, Foxdale last week and against Ramsey Youth Centre. It's a chance for them to, to view one of the top uh, four sides. Youthy did really well last week. Uh, uh, Callum Sherry with um, you know a great performance by him. I'm going to go for Ramsey Youth Centre. 
Well, Governor's Athletic, a, a big loss last week. Um, they take on Union Mills. Yeah, and it's not going to be much easier, I don't think. Um, Colby, uh, let's give special mention to Carl Hickey uh, to score eight goals. There won't be many players who'll score eight goals or more uh, throughout the season. I'm sure there'll be one somewhere, but um, great performance by him. And uh, certainly, uh, I just see Union Mills here trying to get things right because last week really disappointed with the way they let it slip, let uh, St John's in. And I think uh, Stephen Fox will certainly have got the boys rallied through training this week and I'm going to go for uh, Union Mills to win. Malou against Foxdale. Close one. Um, Malou have, have battled over the last couple of weeks to to really hold it together and they've done an amazing job. Uh, players who had left have come back, which has uh, put them in a good place. And um, against Foxdale, it's going to be a tough fixture for them. But, you know, last week had a really good uh, performance uh, against um, uh, Jim's and I would expect them to put in the same gritty uh, 90 minutes against uh, Foxdale. But I think Foxdale, with the goal scorers that they've got there, have just got enough to win it. And the last one in JCK Division 2, Onken host Colby. Onken's first game uh, against uh, a Colby team that scored uh, 14 last week. Uh, the stadium is always in, uh, in in good condition at the start of the season and uh, it should warrant for a good game of football. Um, again, it's a fact-finding uh, mission for both sides. See where Onken are. They've lost one or two players, but they've gained one or two. So we'll see how that goes. As were with uh, Colby, a bit of a statement last week, I think, with those 14 goals. So... Uh, we'll see by uh, sort of five o'clock tomorrow night how they've got on against a good Onken side. Well, having a look then at Combi 1, Castletown against Russian. I think um, it should point to uh, a Russian win. Um, we didn't get much chance to cover the combination last week, but the sides that you always look out for are uh, sort of Peel, St Mary's, uh, Russian and uh, Corinthians. I know Cor uh, Castletown just lost out against Douglas Royal, so we've got to go for Russian to win. Um, Corinthians against Douglas Athletic. Just had late news on that one, Sean, that uh, this one's been postponed because Douglas Athletic can't field a team. Awful lot of players away. They've got plenty of players, um, but we've caught them out with the fixture and uh, that game's gone by the wayside. Moran against Peel. Going to go for uh, Peel again. Um, good young players coming through. Uh, I think Sam Brown's still in charge there, so he'll uh, put his uh, sort of experience uh, into those young players. I expect Peel to take the points. Old Boys host St Mary's. Going to go for old, uh, St Mary's, sorry, to win. Normally, Old Boys are a team that you would fancy um, to, to win the Combination 1 title, but I think um, certainly, again, uh, conceding the amount of goals, I think it was eight last week, I've got to go for St Mary's. Now, Paul Rose had been due to play St Mary's, but they're not fielding their combi team. That, so uh... That's right, Paul Rose against uh, St George's. So um, what happens there is that, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's... It's really hard for Poros to take this one because um, they've tried everything they can over the last few weeks to try and get uh, some players to gay, uh, together, Sorry, but it hasn't happened. So unfortunately, St George's will have to sit with this one out this weekend and again next week. And the last one in Combi 1, uh, ramsey Laxey Should be uh, a close game. Um, you know, Laxey had a good uh, result last week and um, hopefully if they've got the sort of same set of players, then uh, Laxey should have a, a comfortable victory in this one but uh, Ramsey again it's like the first team a lot of good young players in there and they can only get better well we are of course coming up towards the news at six but we do have just a couple of minutes left to go through Combi 2 and uh, Colby against Onken Onken uh, league winners uh, last year uh, again uh, they'll be hoping to uh, challenge they always have over the last uh, couple of years I'm going to go for Onken uh, Douglas and District against Air. going to go for Air to win I think um, usually if the first team's strong then the combination is strong. But Douglas and District had their best season in Combi 2 last year and hopefully they can continue. Uh, two sides that I think lost on the opening weekend, Foxdale and Malou. Yeah, and uh, Malou, as I say, uh, numbers uh, are there, so it's good. Uh, but I think uh, Foxdale will be just too strong for them. Jim's against St John's. St John's couldn't play last week. A lot of players away again. Um, they're all back, I believe, so they're going to be strong. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, St John's, possibly just to sneak that one against Jim's. Ramsey Youth Centre versus Braddon. Again, could be a close game. Ramsey Youth Centre, when you think of uh, two years ago, they won the combination too. Um, so whether they've uh, been able to strengthen their squad, they've got some good young players who are, I think, about 15 at the moment. So when they turn 16, they can come in and there's some quality in that team. Not too sure how strong either of these sides are. 
Uh, but I'll just stick my neck out here and go PUT. And uh, finally, Union Mills, Governors. Union Mills to win that one. Uh, they've got, uh, again, a strong team. Uh, they've worked hard, you know, pre-season, both teams, first team and combination. I think it, uh, Governors will just find it uh, too difficult against them.